we were impressed and, dare we say it, a little surprised by the Hyundai i30 fastback when we tried it aboard late last year. Now we've had the first chance to try the Korean manufacturer's style focused take on family transport in the UK, to see if it still makes sense. In fact, making sense is something of an anomaly. Because on most rational grounds, the fastback's only real hope of ending up on your driveway is the emotional appeal of how it looks. Hyundai hopes that it will attract some of the people left unmoved by the oh so tame, conventional i30 hatchback. We'll leave it up to you to decide if the more rakish roof line works, although there's no denying that the car has more curbside appeal than its sister vehicle. The car we're testing here has a 138bhp 1.4-liter turbocharged petrol engine, and a 6-speed manual gearbox, a 7-speed DCT is available as an option. The motor is best described as sufficient, its 242 Nm of torque kicks in somewhere around 2000 revolutions per minute, and it'll rev quite happily to well beyond 4000 revolutions per minute if you ask it to. But in practice, you'll end up shifting up sooner than that, enjoying brisk progress instead of chasing after the claimed 0 to 62 mph time of 9.2 seconds. Just think of it as comfortable, not rapid and you'll be on the money. Image 2 of 15 Hyundai i30 Fastback, Rear Image 2 of 15 Latest deals from Buayacar Hyundai i31.4 TGDI Premium 5 Drams 18,999 pounds or 303 pounds per month Hyundai i31.4 TGDI Premium 5 DR 20,495 pounds or 329 pounds per month. See all deals on Hyundai i30. Representative example, representative APR of 7.9% borrowing 10,509 pounds over 48 months on HP Type Finance, the amount payable would be 250 pounds a month with a total cost of credit of £1,483 and a total amount payable of £11,992. Dennis Buaya Car Limited, 3132 Alfred Place, London, WC1E7DP, GB0915105A, 8 is a credit broker regulated by FCA, FRN colon 667368. The chassis is frankly very similar. It does most of the basics pretty well, the steering is a little heavy and slow, but at least it's consistent and once you've notched up a few miles behind the wheel, it's easy to place the car. The fastback stays flat in corners, too, although don't expect it to dance between apexes like a hot hatch, that'll have to wait for the inversion that's already in the pipeline. Most versions of the fastback come with 18-inch alloys, another nod in the name of style, and there is some trade-off in ride. It's not unbearable, but it does pick up the scarred surfaces that are so common on British roads, and even more noticeably, there's a fair amount of tire roar from each corner. This is a shame, because the engine is smooth, even when you're pushing it along.